They're going to have DG2 Fnatic match tomorrow for the last place at Worlds. Who takes it and why? Uh, I mean, I would be really surprised if Fnatic won this series. I yeah. think G2 is just a lot better. And uh, watching how they how Fnatic played against Misfits, I don't really think they are that strong. So I would expect a 3-0 or 3-1 for G2. Wow, one-sided series. I, I guess the fans would be disappointed because we, we, want, we want to have the best fight for this series. But yeah, we'll see about that tomorrow. Sunday Summer Finals. Rogue will, of course, be facing the winner of Fnatic versus G2. And a reminder that Rogue all already locked at Worlds. The last World spot goes to G2 versus Fnatic. So uh, let's talk about first Rogue. Um, Rogue is now down to the lower bracket. Um, you know, they still get a chance to qualify again for the finals. Armut, if they're up versus Fnatic or G2, uh, what are their chances, you think, of making it again? Uh, you mean Rogue? Yes, Rogue. Uh, okay, what I think, I think if G2 drops better and if they like change their game style, like I think against us, they choose both sides play, but I think they should be able to like play top side as well because I think Wunder is pretty good as individually. So I think if they play like better comps, with better champions, I think G2 is the probably strongest from all, all of them, yeah. All three. Amazing. So I'm expecting to face G2 again. Mac, G2 versus Fnatic. Armut giving it to if they get the better drafts to G2. I think that historical precedent always makes you lean a little bit more towards G2. Do you have a differing opinion? Um, I would say that based on what we've seen, I think G2 is currently the better team and I think Fnatic has more obvious points of weakness to exploit, whereas G2's weaknesses are a little bit more subtle um, and less obvious. So um, I would probably give it to G2 on balance as well.